Today is the day guys. I am finally going to switch from iPhone to Galaxy. I have been using Apple ever since I was old enough to even use a phone. I am going to be unboxing the new iPhone. My iPhone. It's the iPhone 6S. I've always stood by Apple and I've never ever ever tried to become an Android user. But today, that's all about to change. I'm going to be putting the Galaxy Z Flip to the test and see if it's really worth it to throw away my iPhone 13 and finally become an Android user. Honestly, there's not really much of a big difference between scrolling on the Z Flip and my iPhone, except that the phone's a little bit bigger, so I can kind of see more screen on the phone. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty much normal. Honestly, getting ready with this iPhone is way better than the iPhone because normally I would have to prop it up, but this thing props up on its own. So I can literally watch my videos just like this while I'm getting ready in the morning and <laughs> that is pretty darn handy, I can't just say. So far, this phone has been a dream. It's been awesome to have it stand up on its own. However, I don't feel very comfortable having the glass just free like this. It's just, as you can see, it's already cracked. I cracked it when I was making my bed this morning. Long story short, I was making my bed. It was on the bed, I didn't know. I flung the phone across the room and now it's shattered. So partially my fault, also partially Samsung's fault because how the heck is this thing that undurable? I dropped it one time. Okay, so I've been using the Galaxy Z Flip for the most of the morning and it's time to customize it to my liking. So right now it doesn't have a case on it and that is a major problem, so let's get some cases. One of the coolest things about the Galaxy Z Flip in my opinion is the cases because they look so cool on this phone and they're definitely super customizable which I absolutely love and I just love how aesthetic they all look. One of my absolute favorite things about this phone is the Galaxy themes though. I think it's so cool that you can pick a theme for your phone and it will automatically take all of the apps and turn it to that theme. Yeah, you can kind of do it on Apple, but this one automatically does it for you. You can choose out of so many themes. So I think for today, what theme should we do? So just choosing a theme will change your home screen, your lock screen, your phone screen, your text screen. Like you can't do that on Apple. So like if you find a theme like this, you can literally, if it's free, just apply it and boom, now all of your apps are customized to that theme, which I think is absolutely insane because nothing like this on Apple even exists. Now, whenever I turn on my phone, I have this cute little wallpaper and all of my apps match the theme. The next thing I always do on my phone is take Instagram pictures and take Instagram stories. So we're gonna put that to the test right now. Wow, this is actually so easy. Okay, so the pictures themselves don't look horrible, but they're not really exactly iPhone quality. I wouldn't exactly post these on Instagram, I don't think. Like I said, not the worst quality, but just not the iPhone crisp quality. I'm also gonna post an Instagram story. So this is my picture. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I don't think it looks bad. You can definitely tell that it's taken on an Android and I feel like looking at it on someone else's story is going to look even worse because the Android never puts the same quality picture on Instagram for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and post it to my story. Let's see what people think of my new phone. So this is the video quality guys. Um, it's not horrible, but would you guys want to watch a vlog on this? Let me know because I think it looks okay, but at the end of the day, is it as good as an iPhone? So let's go ahead and get some shots of the backyard and see what we think. I can honestly say after taking a couple Instagram pictures and the video that this is a major downgrade from the iPhone, but I guess I won't be taking any Instagram pictures on this. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about 
about you all night. This navigation sucks. In a quarter mile, keep left at the fork. Follow signs for I-10 West, US-90 West. Okay, can I get a tall matcha latte? And then a puppuccino? I don't have my Starbucks app downloaded on this thing, and I have a gift card. I don't even know how to work this. Where's Starbucks? Starbucks. I'm trying to download the Starbucks app so I can get my gift card off of the app, but right now we're not looking too good. What's my password? <laughs> I don't know. All my passwords are on my phone and I don't have it. Um. Oh my goodness, how adorable. <laughs> she came for her puppuccino? Rosie, you need to be patient, little girl. Thank you. You too. Well, the maps are kind of hard to understand, but we did get it to Starbucks safely and I did get here, so I mean, it does work. So I actually took the Z Flip with me to the gym today and honestly, it was really, really helpful. I was able to change my songs just by using that little screen right there, so it was really cool. But overall, it was the same experience at the gym, except a little cooler that I got to use this little function right there. Honestly, using this phone has been really, really easy and fun. However, this crease on the phone has really started to get to me because I can see it so visibly. Maybe not so much on camera, but there's like creases that are forming and that just comes with using the phone a lot. So it's normal, but it does start to bother you and kind of get annoying, especially when you're watching YouTube videos. Okay guys, it has officially been the 24 hours with the Galaxy Z Flip as my main phone. Not using iPhone, just Galaxy Z Flip. And it's time for the complete rundown. Watching videos on the Galaxy Z Flip versus the iPhone. Overall, the Galaxy Flip was an awesome feature to be able to just stand it up and watch my videos however, whenever I want. However, I prefer watching my videos on a bigger screen when it's sideways. So technically they are at an even standstill because this one can't balance on its own. Also, the microphone on the Galaxy Z Flip is not that great compared to the iPhone which has almost like a surround sound feeling to it. And the screen graphics are better on the iPhone. So for the category of entertainment, the iPhone is going to have to win. Even though it is a sick feature to be able to stand up your phone on its own, the sound and video quality is still better on the iPhone. Next thing is camera. When taking pictures on my iPhone, it has never disappointed to me it's always come out with very clear very gorgeous results but yesterday I decided to take my Instagram pictures on the Galaxy Z Flip as awesome as it was to have the phone stand up on its own to take my Instagram pictures it's still obvious to tell that iPhone clearly wins so for taking videos and content creating the iPhone is going to have to win next thing is GPS systems this navigation sucks this one's not that important. However, the Google Maps is honestly a huge hassle. It's very hard and confusing to understand for me compared to the Google Maps, which is very simple and simplistic. So again, for GPS, the iPhone has to win. On terms of customization, on the iPhone, they did add widgets. So now you can have like widgets on your phone, which is an awesome feature for the iPhone, but it's nothing compared to what we've been able to do on the Z Flip. We were able to customize our apps to whatever icons we want. We've been able to change themes, place the apps wherever one on the home page so for customization the Galaxy Z flip wins because you can pretty much do whatever you want with this phone the sky is the limit so Z flip definitely wins on that productivity wise I do find it very easy to use my iPhone and get things done on it with the Galaxy Z flip because you have to constantly be flipping it open whenever you want to use it as simple as it is to flip it open it definitely takes more work than just grabbing your phone so I actually get more things done when I'm using the Galaxy Z flip because I'm not constantly on on my phone especially since I can see the notifications right here on the outside screen I don't really have to worry about turning on my phone and scrolling through it to see my notifications it literally pops up right here on this little screen so the productivity goes to the Z flip so overall guys it's time for the moment of truth will I be switching out my iPhone 13 for the Galaxy Z flip permanently no <laughs> I'm sorry it was an awesome experiment to use a galaxy for 24 hours but nothing compares to my iPhone everything just works so much better on the iPhone everything's so much more simple and honestly 
I'm a diehard Apple fan. Let me know what team you're on. Are you on team Apple or team Android? Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Now it's time to go do the next thing of my day. Get Starbucks. That was kind of cheesy, I probably won't put that in. <laughs> After looking at the clips and everything, I can honestly say that the camera is a major downgrade. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, Rosie. Rosie. I'm gonna get in a car accident because this girl. And there you go, Rosie.